Hey guys, Thomas Joseph here from Kitchen Conundrums. Now last week I asked you guys if you had any questions and wanted you to comment below and today I am answering some of those questions for you. So what did you have to say? Well, Tina and Dylan, they're asking how to soften butter or cream cheese quickly. How many seconds do you microwave eggs or anything to room temperature? When it comes to butter and cream cheese, you can use your microwave for help. Now, set your microwave at the highest setting and at 10 second intervals, microwave your butter and cream cheese, flipping every 10 seconds so that it evenly softens and then you're ready to bake with it. Now, when it comes to eggs, my preferred method would be to take a cold refrigerated egg and place it in a bowl of warm water and that will help to bring the egg up to room temperature. Another method that a lot of people use is just simply cracking an egg into a bowl and what that does is it increases the surface area of the egg and it comes to room temperature that much faster. So that's the answer to that question. Hira Shazad is asking how to make drop cookies, especially chocolate chip cookies, just as crunchy and crumbly as store-bought versions, and what sugar should be used in those cookies. Well, I did a whole chocolate chip cookie 101 where I teach you how to make the perfect chocolate chip cookie to your taste, and one of those is a thin and crisp cookie, and the secret would be using granulated sugar. A high amount of granulated sugar in the cookie dough will flatten out your cookie and give it that crisp, crumbly texture you're looking for. Now, Doa Aljay is asking, what is the proper way to store an open package of active dry yeast? This is actually a really great question. Now, if you have active dry yeast, the shelf life is usually about two years, and typically the date is on the back of the package, so do be mindful of that and check the date before you use your yeast. Now, if you wanted to store yeast after using it, or the remainder of the packet, what you can do is you can store it in the refrigerator for about four months, or in the freezer for about six months. Now, you have to be careful. You wanna keep yeast away from moisture, heat, and air. So, say I use this package of yeast here, you want to make sure that you fold down the packet. I like to use a binder clip or a paper clip to make sure that the fold down is secure and then store it in a resealable plastic bag just like this and put it in your refrigerator for four months or in your freezer for six months. Now, if you didn't know how long you had your yeast for, you can do a simple yeast test. So I have some warm water here and to that water, you can add a half a teaspoon of your active dry yeast, your rapid rise yeast, and you wanna stir it together with a nice pinch of granulated sugar. Let this sit for about five to 10 minutes, and if it starts to bubble up, if it starts to foam, that means that the yeast is still active and still ready to go, and you will get perfectly baked goods in the end. Now, Sam Santos asks, how do I make sure that my pizza crust is thin and crisp? I always seem to end up baking pizza that's a bit overcooked on top, but undercooked on the bottom. Well. Of course, whenever you're making a pizza dough, you really wanna make sure that your pizza dough is super thin before you bake it. And when you do bake it, crank your oven up to the highest setting. So that's probably about 500 degrees with the rack in the lower third of the oven. Now, if you're a serious pizza baker, I know I am, invest in one of these pizza stones because the pizza stone really retains the heat. So sliding your pizza right onto one of these super hot pizza stones will give you that crisp crust that you get at any pizzeria. So the bottom will be cooked and the top will be golden brown and it will be the perfect pizza. Now I also did a video on creating the perfect pizza so that link as well will be down right above the comment section. Now last but not least, I am listening to you guys. We are answering this question, how to make the perfect French macaron well, or French macaroon. Um, Stay tuned, we are doing a video for you. I know that's what you've all been waiting for, so we will be coming out with that in a few weeks. Stay tuned. Thank you for all the great questions and comments. Again, click subscribe and comment in the section below. Let me know what you want to know and what you want to learn, and I will answer whatever questions you throw my way. Take care, guys.